A mystic weekend where poems got lost and thrown back into the sky for other attentive poets from the droop of my pen. I could have, I could have, I could have asked to be the dove in her heart, like a depicted picture of Jesus in my granny's living room. But I'm drinking with a ruined woman, losing the memory. But it's not what I call all love like a Jesus in your heart holding your granny's hand. He asked if there was something strange in my life since he last saw me. I told him, of course, (laughs) you lucky bastard, he announced, and he laughed chronically. But there is always something strange in every day. I don't know why they're blinded, like my sister making fun of my morning hangover and my granny saying forte. I don't need ownership. Poetry is not a marriage to me. Copyright should not exist, like his last email. I like the idea of a non-poet using a piece towards his or her lover and making love with a congruent smile. At least it lasted a while for them. Well, he told me last year at a party, I smiled shyly from my cigarette without copyright and exhausted because it didn't last for me. I'm on the phone with her for an hour like love, like a mum, like a large coffee, like sex with depth and sex should be like finding the meaning of life. We find the meaning in the conversation but we are not lovers. I am alone in the house, writing a song and resisting death because it should have been noticed earlier, honed, and life done a little more satisfactory, owned. But the rain falls, but my socks are not wet in my new shoes, but it has left a wound like an interview but we die in words and we die in life that's why we love last minute in the house as the poet a thought bubbles from my mind in a stereotypical cloud that there's no geniuses no ingenuity it's just waiting with dedication like her waiting for her muse and for her smile they last a little longer than the angels. It's still raining the next day. I'm in the house again with a delay on her java at the brasserie, but all is answered as one of her paws lay silently over the cushion of the chair without thought to ruin it. I turn to look at the wall where there is only screams from my neighbor. It is the afternoon at Christmas, almost dark now. I pretend to give him that cigarette now, but there's a sound of an angel coming through the wall saying no and stop. It's about time the lights come on. The end is coming near, not the end of life, at the end of my heartache over this weeping poem and devastating year, like the end of that lost weekend and words when I started to compile this song and people mourn so dreadfully over the dead for what they didn't say and do as the tears drip off the final close of the casket instead of dripping on their living neck. But as I foresee my future, Along with my death, all this may make no sense until we sit with the gods like a bent rose, not weeping, but curling in laughter. (laughs) 